It's Friday! Hey there, welcome. I'm Kylie, a farmer, mother, and lucky enough to be married to my fourth generation farmer. Together we raise corn, soybeans, hogs, and kids. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy! So the sprayer is my least favorite piece of equipment to ride in. I get horrible motion sickness, so this will be a true test of our marriage. Our marriage? During this time. We'll get out. <laughs> so in about 10 to 12 days, Jeff Ellis, the E3 specialist from Pioneer, is actually going to visit the farm, and we're going to be able to walk through the beans and see exactly how well the Enlist One product does on eliminating the weed pressure that we have. I will say it's not a lot. Jordan, what do you think? I don't think the weeds are no, horrible. Mainly around the edges, which is kind of expected, expected usually. What are the main weeds that you see like in our field that we're uh, trying to get rid of? Um, so probably the biggest thing I'm seeing the most pressure with is uh, cut burrs. Um, there's just a little bit of ragweed. Um, probably a touch of shatter cane around the waterway edges and stuff, but really for the most part, out in the main part of the field, we're not seeing hardly any pressure at all, just a little bit of grass here and there. A little water hemp, just a little. Should we tell them our other good news? We got more news. I mean, it's E3 beans, what better news could we have? So we have the Epperson E3 experience going on right now, but we also have the Epperson number three baby. Oh, that's right. In um, our presence as well. <laughs> What do you think? Excellent. So good. The Enlist one did incredible. It did. I think we're what, 12 days out? Yeah. I mean, we'd had some stuff that would have been extremely hard to take care of. Um, that was a little bit bigger and probably might have started getting away from us and it absolutely took care of it. It's clean. Yeah. It's clean. I'm happy. Very clean. So we're heading out here with Jeff Ellis. We're going to catch up with him in just a second. But it is July 31st and it's muddy here. Like this is the gift to every farmer in our area. <laughs> it is muddy. We have great moisture. It's been raining on and off the last three days and like we just couldn't be happier. I hear you know a lot about the Enlist uh, herbicide program. Yep. Yep. I've, I'd say 12, 12 years of my career has been spent kind of developing the Enlist weed control system. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, seen it from kind of its early days in developing, you know, all the way now to uh, commercialization of the system. Well, we are really excited to plant the Enlist um, E3 beans this year and then also have a new uh, herbicide to apply. So tell me about what are the high points of the Enlist program? So the, the really neat thing about the Enlist program is, is it, it's tolerant to three different key modes of action. So you have robust tolerance to 240 choline. <clears throat> robust tolerance to glyphosate, okay. and then thirdly, you have robust tolerance to glyphosate as well. So you've got three different modes of action that you can kind of intermix with each other and targeting, you know, particular weeds or whatever weed you're targeting, you can make different mixtures of those three products. Uh, we chose to put on Enlist One. Do you want to maybe feature that product? Yeah, so we'll have two different products, or we have two different products for the Enlist weed control system. We have Enlist Duo, which is a 240 choline and glyphosate, so it's a, it's a premix. And then we have Enlist One, which is a straight goods 240 choline. So if you look at most of the Midwest and most of the areas that, that are adopting the E3 system, about 90% of our sales is, revolves around the Enlist One. And so the Enlist One, it's more popular popular because it's a, a lot a longer list of uh, tank mix partners with that. Okay. So you can add in you know whatever brand of, approved brand of glyphosate such as Durango, um, whatever brand of approved glyphosate such as Liberty and Interline and, and others such as that. So it, it is a much more flexible formulation uh, for fungicides, insecticides, micronutrients, just you know whatever is typically used by the 
by the grower. So I know that just recently this summer, summer of 2020, uh, the EPA put a ruling on the dicamba product. One thing I really like about the Enlist product is there's a much wider window to spray. Yep. Is that, do you think that will be on farmers' minds this next growing season since dicamba's out, you have a few other options? Is that, is the time and the volatility of the Enlist or the, the lack thereof, is that one thing that farmers are gonna be focusing on? Yeah, so it's a huge issue. When you look at application timing, so Enlist 1 pretty well mirrors what you have with glyphosate. So okay. through R2, which is what glyphosate is currently, is what you can do with the Enlist 1 system. So um, the other tank, popular tank mix partner is Liberty or Glufosinate. Um, it's, been, it's able to be applied through R1 so Enlist One, you know, would go through that that timing as well. So, you know, a lot of states, uh, Missouri's got 45 days after planting with the dicamba, whereas, you know, with the Enlist system, regardless of the state you're in, um, it's it's based on growth stage rather than a predetermined date set by the state. Okay. Or, or you know, or, you know, by the uh, EPA. Very interesting. I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me.